Hi there, my name is Joe and uh, I'm going to build a ignition coil circuit. Uh, most of the time a lot of people don't know how to do this or you know like there's a lot of stuff on YouTube that I haven't even seen exactly how to do it step by step so I'm not an engineer by any means so if you guys see any faults and anything like that you know let me know but um, anyhow pretty simple I'll go step by step through everything and uh, if you guys do mimic on what I do, please be very, very careful. We're dealing with electricity and, you know, it would break my heart if someone got hurt. So, but if you're okay with that, just uh, just stick with me here and I'll show you how everything goes. Okay, first off, what you want to do is, uh, I have some tools here. i got a scissors, crimpers, screwdriver, um, some electrical tape and a wrench and pliers so more or less that's about it I don't know exactly how you know everything is schematic form because I have no idea but this is the way I've learned it uh, things you may need uh, basically a plug-in and some wire um, basically a uh, capacitor and I'll tell you exactly which one you need spark plug uh, spark plug connectors and a light dimmer also a switch and a very important part is the ignition coil. So I'm going to explain really quickly how to do this. It should take about five minutes and uh, you can use this for I guess or more or less uh, pulse jet engines that's what I've used it for and uh, even my little ramjet uh, um, engine that I built. Oh and as well as you may uh, need a hose clamp and I'll show you what that's for too. So we're ready to go. So basically we start off with our plug-in outlet. Make sure this is unplugged. I don't want anyone to get zapped. And uh, basically I cut off the ends of this. And if we come follow it here, all the way through, you can see how I cut both ends off. And I put these uh, kind of like Y connectors on here. So I basically crimped them into place. And then what I did was um, this one's still free, so you know that one of them's positive and one of them's negative. We don't know yet which one, but that's okay as long as we use one of them at a time. This basically, this switch here, um, I used, I crimped one side on, and then one side of the of the same is plugged into our light dimmer switch. From our light dimmer switch, uh, you also have is another wire that I have here. What I do next is uh, basically, real quick and easy, I take a capacitor, that's what this is, uh, what I want to make sure is basically it's 120 volts coming out and you want to get a capacitor that is a little bit more than that so this one is a 7.5 UF uh, 37, 300, 370 volt AC and uh, yeah that's that's basically what that is the main thing is you want to make sure it's 370 or like above 120 volts. So basically what I do is I set that there, have the light dimmer switch here, plug one side of the capacitor like so. And then after that I take my uh, ignition coil and I plug the other side here like so. On this ignition coil, I don't know if you can see it, but one side is positive and one side is negative and this is where the ignition coil comes out. So we're plugging this in in the positive side, so basically I screwed that on already. So now we're basically almost halfway done. Now what we need to do is connect the negative side, which is right here, okay, and connect it to the negative side on the ignition coil, which we'll do in a, in a quick second. For now, I want to talk about here is the, the main electricity coming out of the coil is right at this here. Um, the way to get that inside is that there's a little screw. You probably won't be able to see it, but there's a screw. And what I've done was I took a little the wire and I wrapped it around the screw inside there, so it's sturdy and it helps um, just to keep it inside there. So that's that's pretty much finished. And here's our spark plug. Spark plug you can get anywhere from any place. Uh, I got it from uh, Canadian Tire and uh, it's for like a lawnmower type engine and uh, that's basically what it looks like anyway. You need to get a, um, a spark plug connector kit. 
that's also I got a Canadian Tire too. Uh, basically, um, what it is is that on this end over here, this is what all what's in the in the uh, in the spark plug uh, kit. Basically, you take your spark plug, it uh, connects to on here, and you connect the wire, which is from the main main uh, electricity from the spark. Um, from there and then basically connects in there like so. So I'll do that really quickly. Once that's done up, I'll try uh, doing this here real quick. So just gonna connect that to here. Like I said, you, could, you guys can use this a lot. Just be really careful. It is electricity. And I uh, don't want it to be fatal for you guys. Use my crimpers. Crimp that into place nicely. So now that that's attached, basically put it inside here you need to use like a screwdriver pop that in there So there we go, now we got it inside and I just lost my fitting. <laughs> That's okay. Get that out. There, just like so. So that's plugged in. Just gonna pop that in there just a bit more. There. So now that that thing is inside there, now I can actually put it onto the spark plug itself, and it connects just like that. It looks perfect. So this is the main wire that feeds the spark plug here. It goes directly here in the top of the ignition coil here. So meanwhile, that is done. So now we go to the negative part. So we go all the way from the beginning again, from our wire, from basically the negative, or whichever it is, positive, negative. And uh, we take another wire, which I've already cut, place just to save some time. And what I've done here, what I'm going to do, is, as you can see, I have these two wires. I'm gonna connect them both together on this side, okay? And loosen this up. I'm going to install them both together. Okay. There must be a pin in the rear end, so I'm going to get all loosened up a bit more. there. I'm going to hold it there and tighten it up with my little crescent wrench. So I'll just make sure that's all tight and snug. And this one here is nice and tight and snug as well. And we're done with that. So now we got all the wires kind of more or less connected. Uh, basically, next thing we've got to do is Take this wire, which is on the negative side, and connect it to our little hose clamp. Now what the hose clamp is, is it's going to connect to the top portion of the spark plug, just like so. 
what I do is I kind of make a little loop and put that loop inside here like so and then just kind of twist it twist it on there like that oops there we go so once I twisted it into place just like that You could do it a lot nicer than this, but I'm just showing you guys really really fast on what you can do. So this is the negative portion of spark plug. And then what I do is I take our little screwdriver, screw that on there tight and snug. And that's tight. So now that's sturdy. And basically we're we're all done. So pretty simple. I don't know how I think that was about ten minutes to or take. And this actually can be put on like a little jet engine that you might want to build. So to make sure and see if everything works, make sure all our connectors are all the same place that we want it to be. Go from the spark plug here, got the main line here that feeds into the uh ignition source here. Negatives are the negatives plus with the plus and we've got our capacitor as well connected to our light dimmer. From our light dimmer we have our switch and uh, we'll just plug it into the wall and uh, see if she works. So we'll place that right there for now and put the plug in. Again guys please be really careful when you build this. I'm not an electrical engineer by all means but I don't know how to read schematics either, so, well, the moment of truth, I'll just put it on and uh, she should go. She works like a dream. Now, I just one last thing before uh, I close up here. Um, one thing that's nice with the, uh, the light dimmer, how it works is that it sets electrical current on and off, on and off, kind of like a relay switch. So basically that's how that works and that's how it operates the capacitor. So with that it reacts right away. So you could use a relay switch for this too, but I don't like the, the on and off really slowly. The light dimmer is just perfect by giving that the perfect perfect condition. So another thing too, you don't want to run it too terribly long. Um, the ignition coil does heat up quite a bit. So you don't want to run it more than like let's say 10 minutes at a time type of thing. So, but um, another thing I want to just show you guys too, just in case if you are going to put on a jet engine, these wires, I mean jet engine is going to be hot. So what I use is I cut a piece of uh, coat hanger and what you can do is put the coat hanger in that and then wrap it around and it'll make it hit like sturdy so it won't touch the actual engine itself so that would be really good. So you have some leeway because without it that the cords would basically dangle so and uh, what else was I going to say oh I was going to say too electrical tape is good just to wrap it around and uh, just so you guys know it can be a lot nicer than this um, I'll show you guys with everything put together what I've done is uh, I pulled everything apart right now but I also put it into a, uh, a container so if you can ask your, your mom or your, your wife or something like that to use like a Tupperware container and fit everything inside, I'll show you that real quick and uh, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. So this is the finished product. Basically put everything into a Tupperware container. Makes it look really nice and clean. Just make sure guys uh, to ask your mom or your wife uh, if you can take one of these Tupperware containers and do that. Don't want to get you in trouble. But uh, it does look really good, and inside is basically the same, has everything inside nicely, and uh, yeah, everything's basically done. So, not bad, pretty simple. Here's a picture uh, that I've made of a schematic, and uh, just to make everything more clear, just to see how everything goes, I wish everybody good luck.